The most important practice you can add to your life is making being in a joyous, loving state your number one priority. Some people call this consciousness, dvekus, being connected to God, getting in flow or in state, returning to love, or being present. Whatever you call it, we have to get into it and return to it as often as possible. Why? There are three main reasons why being in this state is life-changing. Number one, because the way that we feel and the state that we're in affects all of the quality of our doing. The Baal Shem Tov says, the energy of the Creator is within the created. That means that whenever we do anything, the state of consciousness that we're in while we do it is what goes into it. And that's felt by anyone that experiences it later on. Practically speaking, your presence is your power. Your ability to impact and influence and love, to connect and contribute and empathize, all the things you want to do are going to be in direct proportion to your state of who you are while you did them. The second one is a concept that is what you feel is what you get. The Zohar and many other mystical teachings express that something that today we call the law of resonance is what you put out is what you'll receive. So although that's true for what we think, say, and do, uh, most prominently that's experienced through our state of presence uh, and the state of consciousness that we're in while we're going through life. So when you're in a more high vibe, high frequency place and you're feeling connected and plugged in, we actually draw those type of experiences back at us. And con the con converse is true as well. And the third reason why being in this high state is so important is because it opens up all the gates of intuition and creativity. I know personally, when I'm in flow, everything shifts when I'm in a state of I want to as opposed to I have to, or when I'm coming from peace as opposed to stress. You just, you pick up on all the nuances of life. You pay attention and you can actually sense why things are happening and the coincidences start stacking up and you can notice the miracles and the synchronicity of things that take place. Everything is better when you're in flow. So here are four things you can do throughout your day to continue bringing yourself back to that higher space, that higher state that allows you to have higher quality doing, really receive in your life what you are trying to live and trying to put out, and to be able to tap into that state of intuition and creativity as you go through your day to day. Spend the first hour of your day cultivating presence. Very few things are as tried and true of starting up the day on the right footing. When you get off to the right start, it really shape shifts everything else that's going to happen throughout the rest of your day. So begin the day, whether it's with a meditation or it's listening to something deep, but opening yourself up to the type of life that you wanna live as the day unfolds. The second is throughout the day, take time to take breaks to watch, read, or listen to things that re-inspire you and bring you back into that place of presence and joy. Right? Very often our mind is too busy and too cluttered to pick up on all the ideas that we know are true. So this is a great opportunity to tap into and access the great teachers and mentors that we have in the world today that can bring you back into that place. Even five minutes, ten minutes of reading or listening to something will set your mind and your brain back on the right direction and allow you to be in that space for the coming hours. The third is, it's okay to take a break and spend five to 10 minutes to meditate at different intervals throughout your day. When you feel yourself stressed or you're taking on too much and there's pressure, it's not only not wrong, but it's very right to stop and to clear your mind and go back into that space. So if you don't have a meditation practice, that's something you can find just about anywhere today, whether it's online or in a bookstore, or you can check out the YouTube videos that we have on meditation on this channel. But go to that place, allow yourself to open up and step into it, you'll be thanking yourself later. The fourth is take time throughout the day to remember that you're okay. Everything is working out the way that it should. You're always being guided and directed towards your highest good. And that is the way that life unfolds. Very often we forget because we get caught up in the details of life. But when we zoom out and grab onto the big picture, remember with a deep understanding and knowing 
that life is working out for the best. When you're feeling stress and overwhelm, it's almost always a better idea to lean into this practice of elevating your state and your inner joy than leaning into being practical and trying to get something done. When you're in a better place, everything you do afterwards is going to be better, not just for you, but for everyone else involved. So regardless of what's going on, remember to make this your number one priority. The universe always rewards small steps in the right direction. Take a step towards yourself, towards the type of life you want to live by elevating the state that you're going to be in for the rest of the day.